Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Honey's Artics. And we got a bad day, I'm afraid. So, uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And I, uh, I'll see you in a bit. So, um, we come in this morning and the catfish has passed away. Um, he's been through a lot, so. Um, I haven't had a look at him and I, um, I've sent photos to my friend and um, we think it's a little bit of impaction uh, that's why he hasn't been feeding uh, we think he's because um, when we was in the pond he uh, he pooed out a load of gravel um, so we think he's at some point he's at gravel um, and just going from I think since he went to, so before he went to me, he had a, he changed the tank. Then he came with me and went into a, the the pond, um, and then he's gone here to this pond. So he's had three different tanks. Um, they don't like changing tanks. They don't like changing water quality. Um, they don't like stress. Um, don't know, just. Okay, so, oh, I think we'll leave the pond for a bit. Uh, I might do a big, big drain of it, completely drain it, put fresh water in there, and then we'll just leave it to cycle for a bit. Um, but we have got some other things to show you today. I have brought some of the other stuff back down. So uh, I'll show you what I've done. So I've uh, started bringing some of the empty exoterras down. So this one had the white tree frog in. Uh, he, he found a forever home a while back now. Um, so I brought the tank down. We can spruce that up today, find a spot for it. Um, I've got to clean some of that off. I can sort some of the stuff out, put it in different places. And then the tanks will go up on there. Um, and I do have another one I brought in as well today to show you. Just I need to move a lot of this stuff over there to different places. Now I can move the exoterra in. Uh, and then I'll show you the other one I brought in. It's got an animal in. Wah ha ha. We go, cleaned off a nice little space. I've got all the stuff all spread out on the, uh, on the other shelves. So uh, what I want to do, I want to give it a clean out. I want to give it a spruce up. And eventually, so you can see we've got the cork bark on the back. But we know we can get the proper sheets of it now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All, most of the Exoterra is all going to have the cork bark sheets on the back. So I really, really like them. So uh, but that's okay for now, but we'll end up whipping that out and putting the new stuff in once, once we get it. plant has done really, really well. It is literally tripled in size. So uh, there is a couple of marks where the, uh, the bugs have nibbled on it and stuff like that. And there's a little bit of poo on it in places. So, uh, oh, <coughs> excuse me. I believe we've still got plenty of spring towels bobbing around. So uh, we'll spruce it up, clean the glass, put some new plants in there and I think we'll be okay. okay I've given it a clean, we clean all the glass, it's all nice and shiny. So there we go, I've added another little new little plant. Give this one a spruce over, give it a clean, I mean it looks a lot better. So we'll put our, our loggy back in. There we go. Oh, a little bit more, there we go. So we put our water bowl back in. We ain't got no animal in at the moment, but we'll still have one in just for now. And then uh, we'll put it on the shelf. There we go, looking lovely, lovely, lovely. So uh, I've added another thermometer in there because we only had the hydrometer. There's a thermometer flared off. Um, so we've got no animals in there at the moment, so we don't need any lights or any heat or anything like that. So uh, we'll just let it sit and chill, ready for when we uh, do the animal orders. Say so we had another one with a um, an animal in, so uh, I'll show you that one now. So, wahaha, we have the dead leaf mantis. So this is the very adult one. So this one is almost at the end of her lifespan now. So she's laid one lot of eggs that I've showed you before, uh, but she's since she's been at home with me, she's laid another set of eggs. So. Uh, I'll show you where they are now, we can have a look at her, and she might want to have a feed, so we might better give her a feed today. Here we have our little dead leaf mantis. 
So it's not the normal dead leaf, it's just a little bit more special she is. So you can see her bum's gone right flat compared to when she was before and her bum was absolutely massive. So she's having a little wobble around. So we've got her first lot of eggs there. I don't know if I can get the camera still. Come on camera. There we go. So there's the first lot of eggs. And then if we look up here, doop, we have our second lot of eggs. This is the newest bunch. And the cool thing about this one is we can actually see how she's attached it. So it's just all, she just put it to the mesh. And you darling, you've been laying eggies. You've been laying eggies. Oh, I don't know. Lovely little mantis, but she is coming towards the end of her life now. She can lay a couple more eggs, but normally they only lay one lot of eggs and then that's it. But some of them, if you look after them really well, will whack out a load of eggs. We can try on a locust. You gonna get it, darling? Has she got it? I think she's got the legs in her claws. Well, we'll see if she's gonna eat. Remember, everybody, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. Shh, can't touch. Mother's Day tomorrow. Make sure you got all your stuff. Make sure you got all your stuff. Gotta keep your mom's happy. Ha ha ha. So Mother's Day tomorrow. Make sure you got all your stuff. We're gonna go around and do some more jobs. Another little surprise for you. Another, another little surprise. And they are very little surprises, they are. Very, very little surprises. In there. Ooh. We have our first little fishes in this shop. How's we doing, everybody? Oh, we're looking lovely. So we've got a little baby convict cichlids, they are. Little baby ones. We've got about 25, I believe. Twenty-five lovely little fishes. I've got the underwater camera, so I think what we'll do, we'll drop it in with the fishes and we can see what it what it's like being a fish in the fish tank. So I'll go get the water, underwater camera and we'll stick it in with the fishes and we can see what it's like being in the tank with the fishes. Everybody that commented about the South in Dragon Build, everybody reckons we should leave it big and open like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it nice, big and open. So Monday I'm going to ring and order some glass. And then um, hopefully, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be able to get it set up and get the South in Dragon in the shop. That would be nice. So we'll have to find a spot for it. I don't know about up there yet. I'm running an iron about it. But um, we'll see where we're going to put it. But I think that's probably going to be it for today because, you know, not really feeling it today. <laughs> hey then everybody, so that's all I feel up towards doing today. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share for me, ring the bell. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. 
you want to subscribe to the channel it's up there and if you want to watch a playlist it's up there if you want to contribute towards the channel there's a link in the description below and i'll see you in the future bye